Hercules. We got the choir this morning. Hi, everybody. Hi, buddy boy. Can I come in? Hi, Herc. Hi, how, buddy. How, how are we doing today, Mom? Well, I'm great. How are you? Great, great, great. Hi, Sprucers. Thanks for keeping everybody safe last That's night. That's a big guy. Good job, buddy. You are shedding, man. Yeah, yeah. It's because I'm starving. I don't think you're starving. Yeah, I'm starving. I don't you're have no starving. food. I'm hungry. I believe that you're hungry, but I don't know how because you are starving. not starving. Oh, oh, look, mommy, I am missing. I don't, I, I'm, I'm shrinking. Remember when you talked about shrinking? We had people say, there's no way you're shrinking, I'm man. Shrink. People don't know. Starving spruce. You're not starving. Oh, they're starving me. Call the animal police. Oh my, you guys are ridiculous. What's up, my big guy? How are you? Larry and Harry, we gotta talk about you two today. You get a little bit of attention too. Coupa la Mario, mama girl. Boy, the coffee bean factory was running heavy last night. Goodness, any of that yours, big guy? Mine's bigger than that. What about you? Food! Food me! Food! Big fella, big fella, how are ya? Hi, littles. Hi, bluesy. You waiting impatiently? Yep, pretty much. Hey guys, welcome back to KNS Get Out. It looks beautiful. It's very deceiving, though. <laughs> it's very deceiving. Very. It has been rainy and cloudy the last three days. Today's the first day we finally got some sunshine. The unfortunate thing is, it's barely over 40 degrees with a pretty good little breeze. I'm in denial. I should probably have some more layers. Excuse me. <laughs> like the bibs, <laughs> but it's a little bit cold. That being said, when it gets cold, you guys know something we've struggled with and they're back, maybe. The mice. Yep, one of the places we have not had a mouse hit for, golly, weeks on end now. Months. Months, there was a mouse. So some of you have been asking, we're gonna give you a little update on the mouse problem and the fact that it kind of just restarted in the last couple days. But speaking of mice, what about lice? We also have a lice issue. Shane's got lice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no, she does not. Actually, some of you picked this up a couple videos ago. Uh, Larry and Harry, specifically Harry, starting with Harry, was kind of picking his legs up and twitching a little bit and it's too cool honestly for flies and other insects that would normally cause that but we've been keeping an eye on him i know you're ashamed it's okay buddy it's not your fault he says it's not my fault i'm really embarrassed about it everybody it's okay but i think these two and as of right now we think it's only these two the longer la mancha fur have lice. So Shannon did some research and has made a concoction. It's supposed to help with it, right? I have. <laughs> he told you, Larry. So after one of our last videos where I made a comment about Harry dancing while he was eating, somebody made a comment to check him for lice. So I looked it up because I didn't know what lice looked like or what to expect or anything like that. And I'll show you here in a minute whenever he's done eating. But basically I had to pull his hair, his fur back the opposite direction and really look down towards his skin to see what it looked like. And on both Harry and Larry, I did find that it looks like they have lice. I've checked the others, they all look fine, but I think we're gonna do a treatment on everybody just to be safe. The treatment that we're gonna do is a natural remedy. I actually found it from Gilbrook Farm on YouTube, and this is something that she did like six or seven years ago, but it's the Pat Colby method. So it is DE sulfur powder, tea tree oil, and peppermint oil. And that's supposed to get rid of them. We'll probably have to do another treatment in a few days or a couple of weeks so that we can get all of the eggs that are hatching because the, the eggs take about three to 10 days to hatch. 
So we'll get all the live stuff with the first initial application and then we'll do it again to get all the eggs that have hatched afterwards. Hopefully that's the plan. We'll see what happens. Hi, Mama. Is somebody talking with their mouth full over here? Larry's trying to help him finish his food. He's not having it. You didn't need any help with that, Spruce? So some of the behaviors to watch for lice, as I've learned, is their stomping or how they just kind of keep scratching themselves, that kind of thing. That right there where he just kind of stomped a little bit, that's an indicator that he has lice. And the good thing to know about goat lice that I was super paranoid about was that it cannot be transferred from goats to humans or to other species. It is strictly on goats and like humans, they get head lice, that's strictly on humans. It can't be transferred across species. So I was at least super happy to hear that because I was pretty grossed out there for a little while. It looks like you have dance moves, dude. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen him do that. What did you accomplish, buddy? He says I got in the hay bucket like everybody else. Hey, can I, can I finish? <laughs> Your brother doesn't like that. He says, get out. Thank you. They're all looking for the grain that Harry and Larry dropped on the ground. Yeah, he usually tells mama about it. time buddy yep we gotta treat you your brother over here look at him dancing poor guy I noticed little Mario and Koopa doing a little bit of twitching but it's hard to tell if it's for lice or if it's just they're being goats yeah I looked them over the other day and I didn't see anything on them but I I need to look them over a little bit closer so what do we look for so what you do is you pull their hair back. You pull it back the opposite direction. But then as you do, bring the camera in. See that little brown speck and notice how it's moving? I do. That's a lice or a louse, whatever you want to call it. And so like you can see, they're in his fur. So what we have to do is get that treatment down in there and really like rub it in on his fur. But because it's only going to kill the live lice, we're going to have to do it again to get the hatchlings. So it doesn't kill the eggs, they it, have to be alive. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't kill the eggs. Do you know, can Hercules get it? Well, no, because it's, it's specific to species. So goat lice is only gonna be on goats, but they can transfer it to each other. It's not through the bedding. So some of the research I actually read was sometimes the reasons that one goat may get it and the other doesn't is because they're actually deficient in minerals. So there's certain minerals that will kind of combat it and keep them from getting it. And if they have a deficiency in those minerals, then they're going to be the ones to pick up lice. All right. So, Do you know if our minerals that we have, because I just fed them minerals, I think it was last week. I yeah, can put I them out again, but does it contain what typically they would need? Well, from what I've been reading, you just want to give free choice of minerals. So instead of just giving it sporadically, we need to let them have free choice all the time so that they can, because they will choose what, what it is that they need. Yeah, which is kind of how they eat. I mean, you put it in, they don't immediately go to it. It just sits there for a little while and eventually yeah. somebody eats it. 
I push you, mommy. I know, I you're so strong. Push you. You're so strong. All right, so Larry and Harry, we definitely need to do. Yep. And then I say we also, because I've just seen those guys kind of twitching a bit, mm -hmm. we do them. Have you checked him to see? I've checked him, but it was the other day. Um, okay. I need to check him again. But no. again, we need to follow up because it doesn't do anything to the eggs. They have to be They have living. to be live. Gross. Yeah, and it is really disgusting. Right. I was super paranoid about getting lice from them. Where do they get it? Just out and about? It's like, and... they're bugs. So uh, like, just, just like how they get mites or bill. parasites or lice. I mean, they're, I think they're in the ground and they just get them. And if they can't combat them, if they don't have the natural ingredients to combat them, that's- Then they carry them. Yeah. Gross. If it's not mice, it's lice. I don't know what else they could get that rhymes with mice or lice or ice or Good job, girly. She's got to eat exactly what she wants to eat in the order she needs to eat it before she will feed these little ones. But they are eating a lot of hay and a lot of grain on their own, so we are growing up. <laughs> and they're milk drunk. So what I would like to do is separate them and get them into the nursery individually okay. and treat them in there. Because the thing about this is you can't breathe in DE. It causes a lot of problems. So it has to, we have to keep it out of their faces so they don't breathe it, and then we need to wear a mask. Okay, and DE is? Diatomaceous earth. <laughs> I, I, I'm not really good at saying the word, so I want to make you say it. So oh, it's diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth. Tomaceous, Toma like tomato. Yeah. Diatomato yeah. earth. All right. No, not tomato earth. And then there's about, what, three or four other ingredients with it? Sulfur, tea tree oil, and peppermint oil. Perfect. No. All right, Hair Bear. Come here, Harry. Come here, buddy. As long as you promise I can't get it, I'll go grab him and carry him up here, okay? You can't get it. All right. You can. I ain't getting nothing. I'm too tough for lice. Lice are afraid of me, really. Can I eat lice? I you, would eat them. You might already have some. You I don't, don't know. have nothing. Nothing, Mom. What nothing. are you itching at? Hmm? His what you itching at? coat is so thick. The other thing, too, is right now they have dry skin. Yes, so they you'll do. see a lot of flaky dry skin with their shedding as well. You got lice, bro? Of course not. Lice is for grossies. I'm not a grossie. You don't think so? I don't see any. I just see, I just see some dry skin and some shedding fur. Mom, I'm heavier than I used to be. <laughs> Yeah, and Herc says he doesn't want to leave the room. You just want one at a time or you want both Larry I and Harry? I want one at a time. Okay, I'll hold on to him while you close him in. Come here, Hair Bear. Come here. He's like, no, I don't think so. Last time you isolated me, you put a rubber band around my, well, you know. He's actually got him pretty bad. Yeah, he's twitching more than Larry for sure. You okay with my, having my tushy in your face while you're doing it? Well, you know, it's not my preference, but... Less than ideal frame here, sorry, but this way the wind shouldn't blow this stuff at us and it'll keep it out of his face too. Yeah, and this DE came with like a little puffer thing. We'll see how well it works. If it doesn't actually work very well, then we're just going to have to... I'll put it on my hands and squeeze it in on them. Okay. Just rub it in. He's doing pretty good so far. Fighting me just a little bit, but not much pressure. Good job, buddy. Mom, you blew it up here. I know, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to really get it rubbed in. It's all right. Dad made a mask for me. So from what I read, the sulfur actually kills the lice, and then the tea tree oil and the peppermint oil are deterrents for it. They don't like the smell of it. So what's the diatomaceous earth do? Kind of like... Opens up their exoskeleton? Yes. So like it slices and dices them, so to say. Makes sense because diatomaceous earth is very much like super fine granules and it just cuts them up. So that's why it only kills the live lice and then you gotta do it again after the eggs hatch. It's interesting that it doesn't take care of the eggs too, but. Yeah, I think the sulfur is like a deterrent and maybe a killer, I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, and he's just licking my dirty fingers. <laughs> my hands are always so gross after feeding, buddy. Good job, big guy. The other thing is, if I can't get it real down in there, we may have to shave him and do a treatment again. Wait, so then we'd have a hairless Harry? Well, you don't shave him completely, you just shave their fur shorter. Dude, you wanna get a haircut? You wanna go where I go to get haircuts? Mm-hmm. 
You're doing great, big guy. You really are. So did you read anything about like, I mean, I'm not, Spruce in there telling stories. Like, is there a season for these? Like if they don't all die, will they eventually, or do we have to wait all the way till next winter? So it actually is more common for them to get it in the winter versus the summer warm months. Interesting. Block your face, okay? Yeah, I would love to get it stopped. I don't want those babies getting it or blue. I don't either. We may just run with that and okay. see how he does. Let me get him back here a little bit more. You're doing great, big guy. You really are doing good. He's honestly staying really calm. He's like, well, I'm getting rubbed all over. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> His brother's down there in Goatville talking to him. We're going to treat you too, big guy. Okay, let's let him run around for a minute and see what all he right. does. Spread the love, man. I know, Poor buddy. Guy. I'm sorry. He's like, wait a minute. You look like Casper, but you're okay. So he definitely earned himself some animal crackers. Yeah. Man, you look like you're about to do something real dangerous. <laughs> I'm just trying to protect my lungs <laughs> over here. Are you supposed to have gloves on? Or is it really just ingest... In, it's ingest ingesting. Ingestion. He's a little bit heavier than his brother. Yeah, he's a little bit thicker. This is not the most pleasant view for me, guys, just so you know. My tushy? Well, I mean, the fact that it's just right in my face. Boy, what if I had to rip one right now? I huh? hope you don't. <laughs> if, if you do hear anything, it's just Larry, not me. He's yeah. got a little bit of ground. Mm -hmm. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. He's fighting me just a little bit more, but... I'll start rubbing on him pretty quickly. You're okay, buddy. It's okay. Good boy. You're okay, bub. It's okay, Larry. You're okay. Hey, hey, you're all right, buddy. We're helping you, okay? I mean, this guy? is gonna make you feel better. I know. Your mama taught you never to let this happen, didn't she? It's for the better, okay? At least it's not shots or banding. You're not gonna be so black anymore. I want animal crackers for this. You'll get animal crackers. Okay, how many? 30? Well, probably three or four. Thousand? <laughs> Hundred million? I'm gonna keep your nose up a little bit, okay? That way you're not breathing it. You're killing it. That's not a goat! Herc, are you jealous? Do you need a diatomaceous earth bath and sulfur and stuff? Man, I'm not seeing any on him. Nothing? My bad, buddy. I'm gonna keep checking. Hold on. You're okay. You're okay, little guy. Koopa is, when it comes to pecking order of him, his brother, Larry, and Harry, and Spruce, this guy's one of the ringleaders. He uh, puts up the best fight. Of course, Spruce dominates, but between Larry and him, they're kind of fighting for that leader of the middle teenage pack. And he's pretty stinking good at it. He's strong. He is. He's my pusher. He just walks up randomly and breaks your ankles. I feel pretty good that he doesn't have any. I'll do a quick little treatment just in case. Oh, Spruce, when he gets to fighting with these other guys, he's a biter. And some of them are picking up on that a little bit. He plays dirty. He plays dirty. I learned it from Hercules, Mom. He bites me. I'm like, fine. I'll bite everybody. No problem. Excuse you. <laughs> Almost done, buddy. Got one more leg. One more leg, big guy. You don't have to do as intensive a treatment on you. You're almost free. All you... right, big guy. Here Good you job. go. Good job, Koopa. Let's get it all rubbed in on you. Good job. He's definitely itching more than Koopa and twitching a bit. I thought I could see his a little bit easier. They've really all got dry skin. It's that season for dry skin. Yeah. Do we need to get you some lotion, buddy? Would you put lotion on of an evening? I don't think so. What's it taste like? Kelly, their fur is so thick. Yeah. Yeah, spruce, it's hard to even see down to his skin. Man, I'm really not seeing any crawling on him, but we'll do this as well. Good job.
Okay. okay. Good? Let's breathe for a minute, yeah. He said, good job, buddy. Good job. Not the best treatment in the world, but if we can keep from having to shave them, that'd be great. I would like to try to keep from using chemicals on them as much as possible, so I'm really hopeful that this works. I honestly, I don't know that it's necessary that, that we treat everybody, but maybe we need to, you know, like I, that's the part I don't know. Well, we spend a lot of time down here with them and we're always watching. So you know, we'll keep an eye on the bigger ones, Mr. Ouija and Mama and everybody and make sure we don't see anybody else doing any of the dance and twitching stuff. And yeah, I, mean, I looked Ouija over pretty good the other day. He will let me because oh, yeah. A, he's white, it's easy to see, but B, he just wants all the love. Oh, so love he was fine. Touch. I don't have a problem with that. Mama let me look her over a little bit, but not a lot. She, you have to walk with her as she's getting checked out. She doesn't like it that much. Yeah. And then Blue, of course, you know we're not gonna get to check her right now. So. Yeah, she'll be a wrestling match no matter how we go about it. But at least we got the four littles done. I feel like that's gonna hopefully help. Yeah, good work, good Thanks. research. We definitely gotta keep the pen clean because it also can be transmitted by flies. Flies can move them. Hey, mister, you don't need my mask. <laughs> do me, do me. I, you're okay too. You actually get medicine for things. You don't need oh, them. Oh, I just meant like hold me and pet me and oh, love. Oh, my bad. Everybody else is getting holded and petted and loved. I want some. You need to be rubbed on a little bit. Yeah, it's a boy. Let's get your lice. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Good boy. All right. We'll keep an eye on them. See how yeah. much they're twitching. And I guess we wait till how long before we do it again? <clears throat> the eggs can hatch anywhere from three to 10 days. So over the next week, we'll just watch them again and may have to just treat them again. Okay. Very good. What do you think, big guy? Oh, I think it's time for me to get some scratchings and some pettings. You can have scratchings and pettings, but you don't have lice. I checked you over pretty good. You actually let me. You and Mama both let me look at you pretty good. You're easy to see. Yeah. And he'll let you pet him just about any time, anywhere. Yeah, he's really, he's really good. He doesn't even have as much dry skin as the others do. Good job. Good work. You've been applying moisturizer, haven't you? <laughs> All right, so lice, that's a thing. What happens if you don't treat it? They just get rashes and it annoys them and they dance and twitch. It's super uncomfortable for them and it can cause bald spots in their fur. You want a bald spot, dude? No, thanks for being good. We'll keep an eye on it, okay? You and your brother, especially. So other than the lice, the goats are doing well. The goat lits are growing like crazy. We've not got them out anymore with the rest of the goats. Just taking a little bit of time, they are enjoying their uh, little stumps in there that Uncle Matt came over and helped put in. Just about all throughout the day, you can spy on them and one or two of them are spanned across a few of them. But speaking of invasive rodents, no, insects, mice, time for an update. If you guys missed some of those videos about the mice, when the cold set in, we found a lot of mice. They killed our furnace, our, our main primary furnace in the camper. And so Shannon's dad came over, helped me tear the refrigerator out, pull the furnace out, pull the dead mouse out, all that good stuff. And we since have probably killed 20, 30, 40 mice. I don't know. We've used all the different traps. There's other videos on the specifics of it, but we've just been trapping. We removed the furniture from our slide, including a couch, a little kitchen dinette thing. And so all the stuff on the inside has been very successful thus far. We put steel wool and all the holes where the piping and the plumbing and everything comes in. But Shannon took the time, that little white door right there past our garbage sack where the water goes into the camper is an opening to the storage underneath the camper, the underbelly storage. We had vacuum sealed bags of clothes in there, seasonal clothes. We had boots, we had shoes. And Shannon went through there and a lot of it got ruined. A lot of it got eaten into and so we had to just throw some of it out. We just scrapped it and then we salvaged what we could. I think she swiffered the whole inside of the underbelly because it just smelled like mouse pee and poo. It was awful. But that was basically where, I've got so much fur floating around now. That was basically where the mice had moved to since we took away basically everything on the inside and they couldn't get to the inside. And we had traps in the underbelly. Uh, all of them caught a mouse at some point or another. Unfortunately, 
I opened the little cabinet underneath the bathroom sink, which is where we initially knew they were because we saw their little droppings, and there has not been one in there for a long time. We've had a trap engaged, waiting, with peanut butter on it, and I opened it up yesterday, and boom, there's a pretty good-sized mouse on that trap. So I've got to investigate the steel wool and see if they just pushed it to the side or I don't know if eventually they can eat through it or what, but we've had some cooler nights getting down close to freezing, if not a few times below freezing, and that will drive them to want to come inside and get warm and they pulled it off. So we're going to, have to keep setting the traps. The underbelly's fully clean. Or one's been hiding inside all this time and we didn't know. Or there's one been hiding on your side of the bed inside all the time. That's not funny. <laughs> you don't like my added detail? No. No, you're right. So, the mice are mostly gone, but they know where home is in their minds. What do you think, buddy? You gonna defeat lice? Yeah, you can do it. He's like, look what happened to my beautiful coat. Oh, I know, you had a I'm beautiful not shiny, shiny black, black coat. And... I'm sorry. No, you're all dusty I'm looking. I'm so sorry. It's just to make you feel better though. Yeah. I'm He's sorry. such a good boy. Ow! Ow! Hey, pusher. Hey, we were just trying to help you. Now, that's Mario's boy for sure. <laughs> As you can imagine, we're outside with Bruno all throughout the day. Multiple times through the day, we've got to take him to the bathroom, working on his training. Why are the birds talking nonstop right now? Hey, you. I see you. Let's go shut him up, Perk. Well, no, I meant let me go shut him up. <laughs> yeah. Stay <laughs> here with me, buddy. But. Part of Bruno's training is also Herc's training. He has to get used to seeing us out with another dog, giving him the love and attention and training and all that good stuff. So we're still working on the acclimation, but Bruno is, he will be seven weeks here in about three days. So still just a little tyke. I mean, even the training, it's mostly just potty training, name learning, um, no biting. He does a great job at not biting our hands which is by nature what puppies want to do when they're learning their teeth and they're first coming in and everything. So I'm very happy about that one because he's got sharp little teeth and a very strong little jaw. Uh, but he does a really good job when Shannon and I go get him at just loving on us, you know, holding his paws up and stuff but not really trying to bite at us, which is great. But also working with Herc, getting used to seeing us giving another dog besides Nala attention. Hey, guess what? I don't like them, Mom. I think I just found another possible spot to look for eggs. I'm just saying. They are all surrounding that tree, taking dust baths. I want some guinea eggs. Hey, hey, I hey. I bet you do. Come on, man. Hey, 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 that tickles. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, you're not short on any love or attention, are you, bub? Finally got these dew claws trimmed. He does okay with it. That initial clipping, you know, he gets a little bit startled. But basically it says, you know, I mean, I've read all different stuff, but basically if you can get one clip, you get any length cut off of it, then come back about a week later or so and do it again. But I was able to get, he only needed it on these two. One of them was almost curled all the way around, but it's looking pretty good. Miss Nala has black nails, which are much harder to cut because you can't tell where to stop very easily. And she has bled before. Not at our doing, but we took her somewhere else. And so she moves a little bit. You being silly down there, big guy. Yeah, I know it. So yeah, Nala, I have clipped three, two or three of her claws now, uh, but you get one claw per day, that's it. Come back the next day, and if she knows you're coming in with those clippers, she doesn't hold still for you. So here in about a month or two, I should have her nails done, and then have to start back over again. Always fun though, right, Mr. Herc? So proper. Spotlight Luigi. All right, we're gonna keep an eye on how the lice treatment is going. 
we'll let you guys know. I know, buddy. Hopefully that's uh, them dancing because that stuff is just killing ticks, right? <laughs> I really hope that we don't have to end up shaving them, honestly. Yeah, me but too. We may have to and treat them again. Boy, they would look really cool with a nice haircut. <laughs> Maybe we could do a mohawk. That'd be kind of fun. Leave the back stripe. I don't think I don't Harry know. and Larry would appreciate that, but it would be kind of fun. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of work. It's time consuming. We've been down here for way too long. Way too long. Way too long. We got to get up to Bruno. Wake him up. If you miss him, you gotta come back for the next video. All right, we'll also keep you posted on the mouse situation. Not sure where that one got through, but I'm gonna dig into it, see if we can't figure it out, and we'll let you know in the next video. Guys, we love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with us. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.